the global version of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Unboxing first look after my intro. Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing and taking a first look at the Mate 30 Pro. Now, this is the international or global version. Uh, I know it's been out for some time, the Chinese version, but this one's intended for Europe. Um, I've got the one in black with 128 gigs of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this is actually European rather than UK version, but as you can see, it's a dual SIM version as well. This is a phone I've been waiting to actually get in the studio to test out, use on a daily basis. I'll give you my feedback. As a lot of you are aware, I have had numerous and I still do have numerous Huawei devices. I've got the P30 Pro here, the Mate 20X 5G. I've also got the Nova 5T. I've got the Mate 20 Pro, uh, the P20 Pro. So I have a lot of devices from Huawei and I was very eager since I saw this launch in Germany uh, last year to get hold of this device. Now, obviously being the international version, there are a few differences to the Chinese version. Uh, namely, there's no Chinese bloatware on this device at all. Uh, the voice assistant, etc., is not in Chinese either. So let's have a look at the packaging. Usual Huawei packaging, black, with the gold writing here and the logo, etc. Nothing else much to say about this one. So let's take this off. Three, two, one, and voila. Super sensing cine camera, okay? Let's take this out of the box and let's switch this on. Actually, you know what? Let's do the unraveling first. Very, very satisfying indeed. So let's have a look around the actual device a little bit. You know what? Let me switch this on. Then we can have a look around the device when I've shown you what else is in the actual packaging itself. So take that out of the way. Sim ejection tool, nothing else in there. You probably get booklets and things, the warranty cards, etc. in there. Now, obviously, this is the European version, so I've got the Huawei Supercharge power adapter, as you can see there. This one's the 40 watt charger. Obviously, the UK version will have the UK power adapter, so don't worry about that. The USB Type C to Type A charging cable. And of course, USB type C headphones. Nice inclusion, but I don't particularly like this sort of earbud design. I like to have silicone because I have big ears and these sort of things do not stay in my ears. What I would have liked to have seen is a case included in the packaging, even if it's a cheap clear one, just to get you off this, you know, get you started. Uh, but I have ordered a couple of cases there and a screen protector, so I'll be making videos on those as well. Uh, it would have been nice to also have a, maybe a USB Type-C um, headphone dongle included. Um, this is around 899 pounds from Carphone Warehouse exclusively in the UK. And I believe with that, you get the Huawei Watch GT2 and a pair of FreeBuds 3. So that's not a bad price, and you consider the prices of those individual components. I think you could pick up the FreeBuds 3 for about, depending where you look, around 140 pound-ish, and the Watch GT2 you could pick up for around similar sort of price, I believe, up, up to 200 pound. It, it fluctuates depending on where you're looking at. So there's a good, good bit of value and bargain right there. So let's have a look at the actual device itself now. As you can see, look at that camera set up at the back, beautifully done. 
I love the way they've done this. Now, as I said, this is the black version. There is a silver version of this as well. But I really, I prefer this centered kind of design rather than off to one corner like a lot of the other manufacturers are doing. There's your flash, etc. on the back. A little bit of Huawei branding at the bottom. Now this phone is very, very slippery, okay? It's got very, very thin sides. It slips out of my hand pretty easy. Now you have got a notch at the top there, as you can see, which houses front-facing cameras, sensors, etc. And a very, very curved waterfall effect screen. And as you can see here, how thin that metal border is. Very, very thin. At the top, You've got an IR blaster by the looks of it, microphone at the bottom, you've got a bottom firing speaker, USB type C, a mic and the SIM card tray and uh, nano memory card tray as well. That's, or NM cards if you want to call it that, that's what Huawei uses instead of SD cards I should say. Power button there, no volume rocker at all, okay. Now I have set this up to a point. Um, one thing I noticed that's different about setting this up, there's no Google Play services at the beginning to go through and have to sign through because we all know this phone does not come with any Google Play services. It doesn't come with um, Google Maps, Gmail, etc. You can sideload all those, which I'll be doing a video on later on. But Huawei's actual app gallery as they call it their app store has got a lot of a lot of new apps coming to it whatsapps in the process of being made for it for example and other things so it's not all doom and gloom okay there are some apps on here that you could use instead of your usual gmail type accounts or app should i say so you can see what comes on the phone natively now move it is an app i downloaded from the app gallery, Maps Me, Carter GPS. I thought I'll try these out instead of Google Maps to see if they're comparable, are they better? Obviously you've got email app here, which is Huawei's own one. Uh, Amazon Place, the Amazon app as well is also available on the app gallery, which surprised me. So that means eBay and other apps will be coming soon. Now, did you just see what happened there? There's no volume rockers. You double tap the side and that's how you control your volume. That is a pretty good design. Some people say they have issues with it. I don't. Double tapping is quite easy. Look, it's very responsive and you can do it from either side, this side or this side. So look, can I do it lower down? No, it has to be at the top here. You see, not a problem at all. Now, obviously, this thing, I'm not going to go through the specs too much. Let's come out of this. Let's go into settings. Now, I've got a Huawei ID, okay, which I put in and I downloaded all my saved data, etc. You can also use an app called Clone Phone if you've already got a Huawei device, which basically takes the data from your old phone, puts into this one, Copies a majority of your apps across with your data, your contacts, etc., which is a good, fast way of getting this phone set up. Or, as you can see here, what I've done. Oh, let's come back into here. Try to do this left handed. I've just logged in through my Huawei ID. So let's have a quick run through all of this. Now, this is not a 5G handset, this one, this is 4G only. So if I go to About Phone, you can see here, this model number is LIOL29. It's running build number 10, so it's EMU, EMUI 10. As you can see there, Android 10, the two IMEI numbers. It's got a Kirin 990, which is Huawei's latest chipset. Really good chipset. I've been using it on and off for a while. Resolution, 2400 by 1176. It's only on the 6th of October, 2019. Security patch, I'll do an update. So I'll check if there's any updates available later. I don't want to do it now. So that gives you that idea. 
stuff you've all seen before uh, storage now pretty much out of the box 128 gigs of built-in storage this one out of the box i'd say probably 14 gigs i have installed a few apps let's say 14 gigs of used out of the 128 so it gives you a nice sort of idea uh, biometrics and password now let's see fingerprint id okay let me change let me just do set this up okay unlock device add fingerprint okay here we go let's see how fast this is obviously i'm doing it from behind the camera now once we do the edges very comprehensive okay let's say okay to that there we go set up face recognition recognition i'm not going to do that now so let's you can also use your fingerprint to access safe access app lock i'm not going to go into that right now so let's go into this close it touch okay i have to do a bit longer there we go and again very very fast responsive fingerprint sensor now here's that waterfall display as you can see looks beautiful but makes the device very very difficult to handle because the side metal parts are very very thin but it handles palm rejection pretty well as you can see here that's my palm touching it you see a little movement there so it's handled it pretty, pretty well, I reckon. Let's go to camera real quick. And let's take a photograph here. Let's take a photo of that. It's a bit more colorful. Oak sharpening, I'm shaking around like a leaf. Let's see how that looks. Now that is pretty, pretty impressive. Now look at the detail in that. Perfect, I'm not gonna read through it, but you've got an idea. The cameras is, is something on this I really, really wanna look forward to. Obviously you don't have Chrome, but you've got Huawei's own internet browser here. So I'm gonna be doing a few videos on this device. Before I get off this video, okay, let's compare this. This feels smaller in hand than I recall from when the launch was. But here's a P30 Pro, so I'll give you an idea of size. It's a tiny bit taller and about the same sort of width, roughly, as a P30 Pro. And the Mate 20X 5G, this is the big boy. Big, big boy. Massive difference there. Look at that. Huge difference in size. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm not going to get into too much detail with this. I just wanted to give you a first look of the international version, give you an idea of what I'm gonna be doing to cover this. As I said, I've got some cases in, uh, Unicorn Beetle from Subcase, a screen protector, and a Spigen case, okay? You have to be careful, because of the volume thing on the side, some cases may not work with it, so I'm gonna be reviewing these next individually. So smash that subscribe button and bell notification icon. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share it on all your social media because it helps me out, helps me grow the channel. And let me know if you've got any questions, anything you want to ask me about this device, any cases, screen protectors you want me to check out. I'm more than happy to have a go, try and source them and get back to you. So until next time, this is Tech Seller saying thank you for watching, take care and peace.